Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. Bobby Conway here with Adam Coleman, uh, hey, CIA in New York. Doing good, bro. Uh, glad to have you on the program today. Uh, look, you do some stuff as it relates to uh, apologetics, and I know that you uh, are a sociologist by uh, you know, doing social work and some of that stuff. Uh, you also are passionate about offering a defense for the Christian faith. I guess my question to you, Adam, would be, what would you say to the atheists that would say that they reject belief in God because of slavery in the African context, American context? Yeah, sure. So, you know, this is a question that's coming up quite a bit and you know, unfortunately gaining some steam yeah. as an objection to Christianity uh, in the African-American context. And generally what I do is I start with the, um, the fact that if someone has some angst about that, about slavery and reconciling that with the existence of God, they're presupposing that uh, African enslaved persons have some value, you yeah. know, that was undermined by that, you know, a system of child slavery. And so on the biblical worldview, I can affirm that. You know, if we have uh, God who Genesis 1, 26, 27, he creates us, he confers value on us. Uh, he has intentions for how we ought to be treated. You know, it makes a lot of sense. You know, slavery, uh, particularly the, the uh, version of child slavery that we see in early America, should, certainly it undermined that. However, you know, if everything came from nothing um, and, you know, the universe springs into existence from nothing, for nothing, by nothing, then, you know, nothingness has no intentions. It can't confer value on anybody or anything. And so it would seem to me that we live in a valueless universe. And so sometimes I put it in a syllogism like this, that if God doesn't exist, then objective intrinsic human value doesn't exist. But humans do have objective intrinsic value, which leads to our conclusion, therefore God exists. And uh, so I throw that out there and I've had some success, you know, with folks in conversations of really pushing that point that on biblical theism, you know, we have good grounds to affirm the value of African enslaved persons who endured child slavery. However, if the atheist, you know, believes that there really was something wrong about slavery, then they should join me in being a theist. <laughs> <laughs>